Practice set 9. Change each English unit of measure to the specified metric unit of measure. In problem number 2, they're giving us the English measurement, 35 ounces, and asking us to convert this mass or weight into its equivalent metric quantity. If we go to the conversion factor table in your book, third column, and we look under the category of mass and weight, the first identity there is the one that we will need to solve this problem. What is given is one ounce being equivalent to 28.3 grams. We will start with what is given, 35 ounces, express it as a fraction. In this case, we'll have a denominator of one. We'll times it by one, but a very special one, our conversion factor fraction that allows us to convert ounces to grams. And the arrangement of the identity that was given, we will put the one ounce in the denominator so that the ounces cancel out when we multiply the fractions. And it means that we will put an equivalent value in the numerator, giving us this special one. Simplifying the fractions, anytime you have something common in the numerator, and the denominator we cancel out. Ounces over ounces would give us one. Simplifying the fraction, we have numerator values multiplied together, gives us 990.5. The unit is in grams. In the denominator, we have one. Dividing this number by one is not going to change its value. So we have our first answer. The second part of two is asking us to convert our answer that's in grams into kilograms. To do that, we'll look at our prefixes for the metrics. Grams is the base unit, so our value is here at the grams. We're headed to kilo prefix, which is 1 power of 10, 2 powers of 10, three powers of 10 or three decimal place moves to the left on our current gram measurement. So we will take the 990.5 and move that decimal one to the left, two to the left, a total of three place values to the left to have an equivalence in kilograms. So to answer our second question, we will answer 0 0.9905 kilograms. Problem number three is asking us to convert tablespoons into milliliters. This is going from English to metric. We'll refer to that third column on our conversion table. And if we look under volume, the second relationship here, one tablespoon is equal to 14.7 milliliters, is going to be the value that we need to solve this problem. Start with which what is given, 6.5 tablespoons expressed as a fraction, so we'll put a denominator of one. Taking our factors that are equal to one another and putting them in a fraction so that the tablespoons cancel out means the arrangement we'll use is 14.7 milliliters over one tablespoon. Equal quantities over one another is equivalent to one, but this conversion factor fraction is going to allow us to convert from one unit to another. Common factors cancel out if in the numerator and the denominator. This leaves us with a multiplication in the numerator. Multiplying 6.5 by 14.7 gives us 95.55. The units are milliliters. In the denominator we have one. One times one is one. And when you take 95.5 divided by one, we still have the same value.